Hi, I'm Tatiana. I just wanted to make a quick video about what it means to be spiritual, what you need to be spiritual. And really, you only need, and it only means one thing. The answer is one and the same. And that is a connection to spirit. That's the only thing that you need is just a connection to spirit. And there's so much out there. There's so many, um, I mean, spirituality is really becoming mainstream with crystals and different oracle decks and, you know, astrology and all of that stuff is really great. Okay, like I've been into that stuff for 30 years, okay? <laughs> that was a long time, but I have been. And I think it's great that it is becoming mainstream. But at the end of the day, the only thing that you need is the spiritual connection. All that other stuff is just extra. So just like there's a bunch of religion, a bunch of different religions out there, there's a bunch of different spiritual practices and not one is going to trump the other one. It's like saying, it's like if someone was to say to you like, oh, well, you're not woke enough because you don't do this practice or you don't eat this kind of diet or whatever. That's not being spiritual. That's just being cocky. It's like a spiritual ego. So don't listen to that, okay? Because the only thing that you need is your connection to spirit or source or God or the universe, whatever you choose to call it. You just need that connection. That's the only thing that you need. If you have that, if you feel that connection, you're spiritual and you can do amazing things with that, you know? That can, you know, we all turn to spirituality to give us some kind of purpose, some kind of connection to something greater, um, faith and hope and whatever. People turn to it, um, empowerment or whatever. People turn to spirituality for a lot of different reasons, just like they do religion. And just like there is a lot of religious practices, there's a lot of ways to tap into your spiritual self. Some people feel like when they're dancing, that there's spirit kind of moving through them. Some people want to be in complete silence in nature and just stillness and meditate for a while. And that's spiritual to them. And some people do like the whole crystal astrology thing and all of that, and that's spiritual to them. And some people, I mean, there's there's so much. There's so many ways to do it. But at the end of the day, it's... It's none of those things really. It's deeper than that. It's just a connection. And the way that it's formed is just based upon personal preference and upon your truth and your belief system. And it's very confusing sometimes when there's so much information about the right way or the wrong way to form a spiritual practice or saying like, this way trumps the other way and you know you're not doing it right if you don't do this because they don't live your perception or your belief system you know like that's their truth and they're writing that or they're preaching that and that's fine because that's what they believe just like I'm telling you this and this is what I believe and you may not resonate with that you may think it's crap and that's okay. That's your mentality, your mindset, your belief system. But for those that are a little confused or those that are kind of like, ugh, you know, what is it with all this? Like what's, what connects me the most or how do I become spiritual or somebody that's maybe starting off on a spiritual path and they don't really know and they're like, well, what, what's really going to get me there? It's, what really gets you there is practice, a spiritual practice. And just like with any practice, you have to practice it regularly to become more in tune with that. So if you're 
doing something spiritual like every full moon or something like that and you're not trying to incorporate spirituality on a regular basis it might be a little harder to tap into something and like some people may be a little more that naturally in tune with things just like there's people that are you know naturally better at sports but with enough practice you'll get there and it really boils down to one thing and it boils down to your connection to spirit if you have that connection you're go- you're good you're solid you don't need the other things if you don't really want them so just believe in yourself in your truth and make that your goal is just to connect and if you're there and you have that goal you're good just wanted to remind you because i know you already know this take care